burn down, man, right here. Shakedown 19, and it is a burn down. Jason Lee says no. Come get some. Jason Lee gets in.
got to have your combination all lined out. Dane Woods sits alongside. First to stage, Tommy Franklin.
that is here in the heat of the day. That Scouting, 
Ashley Owen. AFCO Racing Super Street, we need you. AFCO Racing side out of Davenport, Iowa. The growth of drag bike, 2019 Suzuki.
169, 169 miles per hour. Look at Melnick. Patrick Barnhill's got a handle on it. Noggin, Nickel, and that should be your round here. here at 632. I really don't care how the other ones fall because that one is going to be the one to watch. The wind light's not on your side of the racetrack. You want the electricity on your side when you're referring to the scoreboard.
force burn out here on the right hand side. You can see up there that Volkswagen drops off a beautiful smoky burnout. Put the Volkswagen out in front of the Mustang enough. The thing is, this car has to grab a hold of the racetrack in the first 60 feet. The Rapid Pride car usually 60 foot better than any other car in the category. And what that does is put added pressure. When you look out the window and see the Volkswagen out in front of you, Wednesday, 581 beats the 591, and look at all the bets going back and forth in the grand. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time to turn this thing on out. Oh, now you're ground number two. Derek Ford and Billy Albert. Derek Ford, the giant killer, is going to be the first pair out this round. And Tyler, we've been joined in the booth here by two extremely talented men when it comes to getting behind the wheel of a race car, Jason Harris and Chevy Floyd. Here's the North versus South shootout, presented by Performance Polish. If you use them, you might cut through the air just a little bit quicker and turn on the wind light on the left hand side.
temperature is a track condition.
Thompson on a huge hole shot. Jamie Thompson, let's go see it. Of round number two, Doug Nickel and Jeff Melnick. Nickel, right hand side out of Dearborn, Michigan. The 68 Camaro for ground control property. Jeff. Shallow, 480 to be 
Hastings to 484. Now Brian Hunt might have nicked the spark plug. Jump up around. Here I come. engines will take on our most recent winner on tour in Connor McGee on the right hand side. The Brian Heaney and Grueling 1990 Mustang for Driven Racing Oil. The nitrous fed Fulton Power Plant underneath the hood of this sleek black machine. Number three and four in qualifying. It's Connor McGee. His dad, Brian, gives one hell of a fist bump. I'm glad nobody was in the way for that one. But... Drive. 
Dottie, we've got trouble on the Bill Rail Camp. I am not sure if it is going to make the lap.
as they bring him to the starting line here at Maryland International Raceway. Top end of the racetrack, has to avoid missing early. Four sixty nine on a whole shot victory goes to Matt Shallow. To Dan Westside. Avalon played up Maryland. The Red Velvet 1990 Mustang. To get lane choice, he'll need to run quicker. Look at the E.T. out of 
Chris Garner just not going to be enough. Craig Davis to the winner circle by double O six. This is the way the drag racing goes when you play it out on paper. Oh, okay. We haven't seen much. Final two. And both these cars went within thousands of each other in the semi-final round. Nearly every round down the racer has proved. So this is about to be a stellar final here with Walter Lanning on the left side out of Savannah, Georgia. Amber Franklin here on the right side out of Fredericksburg. Scotty, you've seen a pop of the field. Not by much, but they've been just the tick above everybody in 632 this weekend. And we all know where this race is going to get decided on the starting line. And while you say it's inside of the racetrack, Amber Franklin, right hand side, 10 Amber, parked it on the winner's circle floor with a Four left. 